Hi. So let us quickly revise our lesson ratio and proportion. Okay. Now, what is the ratio? The ratio of two numbers is the expression of the numbers in p by q form or p is to q form. For example, take these numbers 72 and 60. If I need to find the ratio of these numbers, I need to write this as 72 upon 60, right? So 72 and 60, both are divisible by 6. So what I'll get is 12 upon 10. I have simplified it. I divided both the numbers by 6. Now you can see still both the numbers are still divisible by 2, right? So I can reduce it further. I can write it as 6 upon 5. So 6 upon 5 or 6 is to 5 is the ratio of those two numbers, okay? So this is how you find the ratio. Now suppose that there are two numbers whose units are not same. For example, 5 liters and 2500 milliliters. Now one of the term is given in liters, the other is given in milliliters. Now which is the smaller unit? It's the milliliters, right? So I'll convert the larger unit into the smaller unit. So 5 liters can be written as 5000 milliliters. Now both the terms are in milliliters. Now I can take the ratio. So it is 5000 upon 2500. You can cancel out the zeros. You can see 25 into 2 is 50, right? So you can reduce it. What I'll get is 2 is to 1. So this is how you take the ratio whose units are not same. We need to convert it into the same units and then take the ratio. Okay. Moving further. Let us understand different properties of the ratios. Okay. Suppose there is a ratio A by B is equal to C by D. These are the two ratios which are equal. Now there are five different properties which can be applied. First is the componendo. Second is the dividendo. Third is the componendo and dividendo. Fourth is alternando and last one is the invertendo. Now let us have a look at these. Uh, by componendo, what happens in componendo is if we apply componendo on both the sides of the ratio, I'll get A plus B upon B is equal to C plus D upon D. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding the denominator to the numerator. Okay, I'm writing the both ratios equal again. So this is how we apply this property, componendo. Whereas in the dividendo, it's minus. That becomes A minus B upon B is equal to C minus D upon D. Now the combination of both of these is component of dividendo. I add the denominator in the numerator and subtract the denominator from the numerator. Okay. So if the two ratios are A by B is equal to C by D. So I'll get A plus B upon A minus B is equal to C plus D upon C minus D. This is how we apply componendo dividendo. Okay. Now, moving further, the next one is alternando. What we do th is we just cross multiply the two terms. So, the denominator of the first term, that is B, moves on to the numerator of the second term, and the numerator of the second term moves on to the denominator of the first term. Okay. So, what the ratio becomes is A by C is equal to B by D. This is called as alternando. The last one is invertendo. Invertendo, we just invert both the ratios. So the ratio becomes B by A is equal to D by C. Now let us have a few examples based on these properties. In this example, a by b is given as 7 by 3 and we have to find the value of 2a square plus 3b square upon 2a square minus 3b square. Now first thing we need to notice in this is that we need the square of the variables. So the first step should be squaring both the sides. So once we square both the sides, what I will get is a square upon b square is equal to square of 7 is 49 and square of 3 is 9. Now, we need to now look at the coefficients of the variables which are required. For example, you can see the coefficient of a square is 2 and the coefficient of b square is 3. So as a square is in the numerator, I need to multiply the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 3. Hence, multiplying both the sides by the ratio 2 by 3, what we will get is 
2a square upon 3b square is equal to 98 by 27. Now, once you have got the squares and the coefficients, now we have to look at the operations which are required. I need plus sign as well as the minus sign. This happens in componendo dividendo. Hence, applying componendo dividendo on both the sides and simplifying, I'll get my answer as 125 by 71. You can try these questions on your own. Now let's look at this question. In this question, it is 15a square plus 4b square upon 15a square minus 4b square is equal to 47 by 7. And we need to find the ratio of a by b, exactly the opposite of the previous question. Now here we can see this ratio has been obtained by component of dividendo, right? There's a plus sign and the minus sign as well. Hence, applying component to dividendo again will simplify it. Okay. Now, let's see how to apply component to dividendo. So, after applying, what I'll get is numerator plus the denominator upon numerator minus the denominator. And the same on the right hand side as well. 47 plus 7 upon 47 minus 7. Now, here on the left hand side, you can see in the numerator, there's 4b square positive as well as 4b square negative. So we can cancel out those two terms. And in the denominator, as I open the bracket, I'll have 15a square positive and negative. So I'll cancel out 15a square. So adding in the numerators, that is 15a square plus 15a square will give you 30a square. And in the denominator, 4b square plus 4b square will be 8b square. That will be equal to 27 by 20. Now, you can reduce the left hand side by 2 right both the numbers are divisible by 2 so what i'll get is 15a square upon 4b square is equal to 27 by 20. so cross multiplying just the coefficients that is 15 and 4 will go on the right hand side so what i'll get is a square upon b square is equal to 9 by 25. now you can see what we have got is the square of the variables so we need to take the square root of those so taking square root on both the sides i'll get a by b is equal to 3 by 5. Now here are some questions which you can try on your own.